Happy 150 Canada. Yes, we are starting off July with some July pickups and some great deals to boot. Yes, the way we do it up. Because we started off with Dollarama. Yes, we hit up a Dollarama and managed to find a bunch of stuff. Uh, some of which I may already have. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um... But uh, first up, this one I may already have, but I figured I'd pick it up just in case. A Cat in Paris, the animated anim Academy Award nominated film on DVD. But on Blu-ray, we picked up some film I've never heard of called Old Gringo. Looks like a Western. It's got uh, Jane Fonda, Gregory Peck in it. So that's not too bad. Then I picked up just because uh, Ghost Rider Spirits of Vengeance. I don't think I have it. I don't think I have any of the Ghost Rider films on Blu-ray. I do believe I have them maybe on DVD. And then, because I don't think I have any of the Underworld movies on Blu-ray either. Underworld Awakening. I could be wrong, but for $3, it doesn't make a difference. Lickety Split then. Because, yeah, I don't own like a lot of the 80s comedies type things. I don't think I own pretty much any of them really. Uh, you know, of the brat pack and such um, stuff. So I picked up The Breakfast Club. Um, I know Leslie loves those type of things, you know, pretty and pink and such. So I had to grab that um, simply because, you know, $3, why not? I don't have it in my collection. There's no reason not to add it. So $3, it's not something that I would actually really watch um, ever again. I don't actually care much for the movie. <laughs> But, you know, Leslie likes these types of movies, so it's one of those things where you might uh, throw it on just anyways. And, you know, for $3, I will watch it again with her um, just because. And, you know what? wouldn't hurt to watch it with the girls either. Um, they are getting up to the age where they, well, one of them is going to be a teenager soon. So, um, then we hit up a Walmart, and I figured, you know what? In their $8, this one, actually, this Walmart actually has an $8 dump bin which has DVDs and Blu-rays and it. it's not just Blu-rays unfortunately um, I would have liked it if it was but I figured I'd pick this one up here this is the Wonder Woman animated film um, it has the slip and I figured I'd pick it up because uh, I took Sarah and we saw the Wonder Woman movie um, and she loved it so uh, you know why not get some animated Wonder Woman action going as well um, now the slip is in bad shape even though it's 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 sealed uh, yeah, but it was sealed really, really tight, so it's all bent on the edges, and, you know, it was in a dump bin, so it's not in the best of shapes, but whatever. It had, the, they had other copies there, but they didn't have the slip cover on it, so I figured, you know what, I, if I'm gonna pay the $8, might as well get the slip cover anyway. Then in a, I guess it was a summer action pack type thing, I figured I'd finally pick this up. I was gonna pick it up probably a couple years ago. Um, but for $10, picked up the Turtle Movie Trilogy on Blu-ray. I believe this is the one that has the three separate discs in it with the different pizza things going on. I hope that's what it is. I'm pretty sure of it. But until I open up, I won't know. Um, and then finally, managed to get one of the uh, Stephen Kings that were out there that were pretty cheap. Um, but I'm here in Canada, I think they're roughly going for either like $10 or $8 plus shipping. So when I saw this in the bin, I figured, you know what? I'm not gonna pass it up. The other ones would be it. And I can't remember, but <laughs> Salem's Lot here on Blu-ray. Finally, I'm gonna add this to the collection, which is awesome. I still need to find it because I don't have it. Um, I may just end up throwing it in. But uh, believe it or not, we are currently in a position where, and this is where I say, guys, as much as you love streaming, it's not the answer. Um, I apparently own all of the Saw movies except for number six. And we've been watching the Saw movies. The girls wanted to watch the Saw movies. Leslie wanted to watch the Saw movies. They hadn't seen them. Um, admittedly, I think they're a little bit above <laughs> uh, the level that the girls are really at. Um, but whatever we're gonna let we will let them watch them anyways and we got up to five and i had those all on dvd so 
I haven't unpacked anything yet. So I, I have those catalogs. So I have the boxes and stuff numbered which with which DVDs are in them. So I was able to find them. But then I figured, you know what? I don't have Saw 6 on DVD, at least not on a DVD that's catalogued. Um, so maybe I have it on Blu-ray. Well, I finally managed to go through, or well, at least I think I went through, all of my Blu-rays checking on it. And I only have Saw 1 and Saw 5 on Blu-ray. So apparently I don't own Saw 6. So we are now in a dilemma where we want to finish watching Saw, but I don't have all the movies. And I think I only have Saw 7 after that, and that's on DVD, or what is it? Saw the final or something like that, the final cut or whatever. I don't know what it was. It wasn't called Saw 7. It was called something else. Um, and then I think they released another Saw after that, and then we have the Jigsaw movie coming out. But at least this will get... Leslie caught up and then we can go see the Jigsaw movie um, <laughs> but yeah there you go starting off in July with a bunch of titles here some awesome some kind of meh and then other ones that I just bought because um, but yeah more to come in July probably I do have like I said I have shipments waiting um, well, like I said in July uh, or in June, in the June pickups several times, I still have, you know, orders online that I've placed that are waiting. Some of them are still somewhere stuck at the border, stuck at the U.S., you know, the U.S. Postal Service in Miami. I've got a whole bunch of packages that have been lost. I've got companies trying to figure out what's going on. It's like I had stuff that I should have probably received in December. It's now July. I still haven't received them. And so, yeah, I've been contacting people saying, you know, what, what's going on. Um... So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they'll show up in July. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'll have to continue contacting these people. I don't know. Either way, um, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, for some reason, stuff is just not getting through to Canada. Um, I know other people who are having these problems. Stuff from the UK is not getting here. Um, and yeah, it, it's odd because then I get stuff from other companies and it's literally like I've had stuff within a week ship or within a few days ship from the United States and show up here and and it's it's nuts whereas I have stuff other stuff that's taking months months to get here um and that's the th you know what I I don't know that I can pre-order stuff anymore because I simply don't know when I'm going to be able to get them I I keep track I've started keeping track of the stuff that I pre-ordered but I have stuff that's years years on my list that's years hasn't come out yet and I just can't simply wait this long for stuff you know like I'll just buy stuff and keep track of it and hopefully it gets here within, you know, a week or two. That way I, I know if there's a problem or not because I, I can't, it's, it's too hard to keep track of this stuff. It literally is. I can't be on these people over and over and over again. I don't have enough time in my life to be constantly checking on the status of orders. So, yeah, pre-orders may not be happening so much um, unless it's, say, from, like, Amazon. At least Amazon has all my orders there maybe even Diabolique I'll probably stick with them um even though they're from the states at least I know um if stuff ships out or not and if there's a problem uh they're a good company to deal with but um yeah I don't know I don't know I just it's getting harder and harder and harder to keep track of all this stuff so but what are my choices I got nothing left to buy I got Walmart Best Buy um, and Dollarama. Like, I mean, where else am I supposed to buy uh, media here in, in, in Canada? Um, yeah, we got nothing here. Nothing here. HMV's closed down. Most of the independents have closed down. And I'm getting on a ramble here. And this is about pickups. So I'm going to stop before this ends up being an hour long and you haven't even seen the next pickup. So let's check out those pickups right now. Hey, Blu-ray pickups for July continue, as I said they would, because I got some packages. This one's from Amazon. Uh, I don't know. I didn't check my list of what I have outstanding in terms of orders, so I'm not quite sure exactly what this is. But as you can see, it's uh, Amazon standard uh, shipping in a package, a bubble mailer that is way too big for what it is. And hopefully everything inside is in okay condition. Amazon is really going downhill. Downhill. 
Oh, yes. So right. Okay, so I picked this up. Two reasons. They had a sale on 3D movies, so I picked up Final Destination 5 3D and Pan 3D, $15 each. Booyah, can't go wrong there. And then I picked up, because I wanted to get this, I believe the, um, what, what do you call this? It's like a slip cover, or slip jacket or something is limited. Um, and then it'll just be the actual Blu-ray itself. And this was listed as a still a pre-order on Amazon.ca, so I put in my order right away. And this is Massacre Video with Hacko Lantern, a film I have never actually seen. I do believe I saw the the video on the video shelves growing up, but I never managed to rent it, so I don't think I've ever seen it. So I'm looking forward to actually checking this out at some point. Um, and yeah, I wanted the case to it so that's that was the main reason it was hackle lantern no, i'm not gonna lie hackle lantern was the, the reason for making the initial trip to amazon um and then i saw that they had the sale going on so i picked up the 3d um because i need to, you know get up to free shipping yeah it was weird um i believe hackle lantern because it was a pre-order didn't have free shipping um but if i signed up for amazon prime I could get free shipping. The 3D movies had free shipping, so I just added the pre-order to it and got free shipping. And then I threw on this because, you know, I have to get some Doctor Who uh, whenever I can. Uh, this is the Son Taran experiment from um, Tom Baker. It was only 10 bucks, so I threw that on there. And then today, I went to Walmart and managed to pick up a few things here, all on DVD, um, but I, since I picked them up today, might as well show them off anyways. Um, first off, for $10, I picked up this movie called Crow, and it had the slipcover. Uh, I believe this was going for like $15 US on Amazon.com, uh, maybe $15 on Amazon.ca as well. It was only $10 at Walmart, in person, with slipcover, in good condition. Why wouldn't I pick it up? And then I picked up same same situation in terms of price the hollow one um but the main reason why i was there was to pick up blood hunters yes my friend trisha lee the director this is her latest film um i did check in it there was a blu-ray that came up on the amazon.com website but it said it was currently unavailable so i don't know if it got a release on blu-ray will get a release on blu-ray if it's just a mistake or what but i will have to keep my eye out on it because you know i'd love to get um my friend's stuff on blu-ray if i can um but i figure this one this one i paid full price this was 16.88 so but i mean it's a friend's film i whatever spent the money <laughs> because you know of who it was because i know them um so for me i could always get it uh uh Signed though they have currently moved to LA. Whoa. So yeah, I believe she's currently moved with her husband to LA right now, but I'm sure she will be making regular trips up here to Canada. Um, uh, and because this was uh, written by my other friend, they they essentially written and directed uh, all of the movies together. Corey Brown, he does live here still. Um, I could always get him to sign it if I so wanted to. Um, but yeah, some more pickups for July. Let me know down below if you have any of them, if you're looking towards getting any of them, or if you don't know anything about them and you're like, hey, thanks for showing me. I'm going to get that. Comment down below. Um, it's still the beginning of July, so I'm sure there's more to come. So let's check those out right now.